prophet reckoned amusements to be worthless except that one that done with one's wife the prophet said everything by which humans amuse themselves is worthless except for three things practicing archery training one's horse and sporting with one's wife these are justified It is the right of the wife upon the husband that he uh, he be patient with any harm she does and overlook any of her mistakes. The prophet has said, A believing man should never hate a believing woman. If he dislikes one of her characteristics, he, he will be play pleased with another of her characteristics the prophet also said i advise you to treat women well for they have certainly been created from from the upper part of the rib of the and the most crooked part of the rib is the upper part if you then try to make it straight you will break it off if you leave it it will remain crooked so i advise you to treat woman well one of the pious predecessors said you should realize that behaving properly towards one's wife does not simply mean not harming her in fact it means bearing her harm and being patient with her rashness and anger in emulation of the messenger of allah his wives would sometimes speak back to him or avoid or avoid him from the days from the day until nightfall. It is the right of the wife upon the husband that he protects her and guards her from anything that may damage her reputation and honour. He also must keep her from going out displaying her beauty and not dressing properly. It must also keep her from mixing with from mixing with men who are not related to her. He must provide her with a complete means for her protection and well being. He should not permit her to ruin her manners or religion. He should not open opportunities for uh, to disobey the commands of Allah and his messenger or commit evil acts. He is the guardian who will be asked about his ward and he has been given the job of protecting and guarding her. Allah has said, Men are the protectors and maintainers of women. Furthermore, the Prophet said, The man is the shepherd of his family and he will be asked about his ward. It is the right of the wife upon the husband that he teaches her what she needs to know of her religion or that he permits her to attend the sessions of learning. Her needs to improve her religion and purify her soul is no less than her need for food and drink. Both of these types of needs must be offered to her. Allah has said, O oh, you who believe, ward off from yourselves and your families a fire hell. His fuel is men and stones. The wife is a member of one's family, protecting her from the hell fire. As via faith and righteous deeds, however, righteous deeds require knowledge and understanding to ensure that they are performed and practiced in the manner prescribed by the Sharia. It is also a right of the wife upon her husband that the husband orders her to abide by the religion of Allah and regularly perform the prayer Allah says and enjoin the prayer on your family and be patient in our offering them. It is also a right of the wife upon the wife, uh, upon the husband that he permit her to leave the house whenever there is a need to do so such as to attend uh, congregational prayers or to visit her family, rel relatives and neighbours. However, this is conditioned upon her waiting. The Islamic dress 
and not going out and displaying her beauty. He almost must prevent her from going out perfumed. He also he also should warn her about mixing with men and shaking their hands. He should also warn her about watching television or listening to songs. It is a right of the wife upon the husband that he not spread about her private matters and that he not mention her shortcomings as he is like a private secretary to her who is meant to protect and defend her the most important among the private matters are those that have to do with the bedroom thus the prophet warned about spreading about spreading such an such information that she was with the was with the messenger of Allah and the men and women were sitting. Perhaps some men speak about what they do with their wives and some men, women speak about what they do with their husbands. The people were silent. Yes, by Allah a messenger of Allah they do it. The Prophet then said do not do that that is like a male devil who met a female devil in the street and he had intercourse with her with the people looking on it is a right of the wife that the husband seeks her advice in matters especially in matters that particularly concern her and their children thereby emulating the mass messenger of allah the Prophet would seek the advice of his wife and would follow their ver views. An example of that nature is what happened on the day of al Thabia when, after the treaty was made, the Prophet told his companions, Go and slaughter the animal and then cut your hairs. Cut your hairs. Not one of the people did that, even though he said it three times. When none of them did what he said, he went to his wife, Malama, and mentioned what the people did to her. She said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, if you would like them to do that, then go. Do not speak with any one of them any word until you slaughtered your sacrificial animal and called your barber to shave your hair. He went and did not speak to anyone of them and did those acts when the people saw that they also went and slaughtered their animals and began to shave one another's hair as to the point that they were almost they were almost killing each other due to the rush Thus the Prophet found a lot of good in the opinion of his wife on Salama. This is an this is in contrast to the unjust dictatorial approach of those who prohibit consulting with one with women and warn people against it. They say in con colloquial speech as for consulting women, if it is beneficial advice it ruins the year. If it is not beneficial, it ruins a lifetime. It is the right of the wife that the husband returns home immediately after finishing the night prayer and does not stay out talking until the late hours of the night. This late night absence greatly disturbs the wife. It can also build up in her soul distrust and doubts if the husband stays very late or does so repeatedly in fact it is the right of the wife that the husband does not spend the night in his house away from his wife in order to fulfill her rights even if it is for the sake of prayer thus the prophet objected to abdullah ibn amr spending his entire night away from his wife in prayer and he